Hey, what's up guys? This is Jen. We're gonna be doing If You Want Fire. I forgot the name of the song, which is why I'm like, oh, what are we doing? We're doing If You Want Fire by Terry Clark, and this is for my student, Monica, who requested I do this live version. I'll put the link in the description so you can see exactly what she's doing, um, and I'll just talk you through it. First things first, capo on the second fret, and I'm gonna be calling out chords like A minor, G, E minor, things like that. Remember, because the capo's on, it's not actually an A minor chord. You can't tell a piano player, oh, I'm just playing A minor. It's actually a whole step up, so it makes it B minor. But I'm just telling you the shapes, because the beautiful thing about being a guitar player and the capo is we can play the same shapes and change keys. So just know this, A minor shape, G shape, E minor shape, okay? Let's get started. Okay, so we're gonna start with A minor, we're palm muting, and we're gonna be anticipating. So A minor to G, one and two and three and four and E minor, A minor. It's important that you're getting the anticipating. I'm doing a slight palm mute. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and A minor, G, F. And now when you get to the F, one and two and three. She's actually putting her pinky on the first string third fret. So it's like one and two and do a hammer on on the third string. So just lift off your middle finger. One and two. Arpeggiating it. Now the next part, this is the most complicated part of the song. We're going to do C, arpeggiate 5, 4. Now keep your pinky on the first string, third fret. So you've got C over B. So let's do that again. We've got um, arpeggiate, walk it down, C over B. Open A, open E, and now we got this little line on the sixth string, three, open, fifth string, three, open, arpeggiate, A minor. So let's put that first part together. To the next part of the intro and we do a quick open second third on the fifth string so it's the same now we go to this F add nine and what she's doing is she's using her thumb to hit this low bass note not feeling that you can do something like this or just skip the bass note all together so let's start in the second half of that part now thumb this if you can so that whole intro let's take it again <sighs> so let's take that whole intro That's the hardest part. Now let's go into the verse. 
and we've got C, G, A minor. C, G, F add nine. Lift off your first two fingers, it's just a little embellishment. So one, two, three, and four. D minor, two, three, and then she goes four and, four and, uh, four and, yeah, down strokes. Four and, back into the verse. G, A minor, two, and then she arpeggiates up. C, G, F add nine. minor, D minor, two, three, four. Now we're into the chorus, G. And we're gonna do this F, and it's kind of this walk down like from let it be. So F, and then A minor seven, or you just walk your fourth string finger down, so it's essentially going, Resolves on C. And you go back to G. And do that again. G. D minor. So now you go back through the intro, but just the anticipated parts, not that walk down, that C over B, just the A minor, G, E minor, A minor, A minor, G, F. And then you'll play through the verse again, and then the chorus, and then you'll go through the intro the whole way through with your walk downs. And now you're into the bridge. This is the last new part and it's very simple because it's just F and she's really mellow with it. I'd say just a couple of little embellishments and then A minor. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And she does like an A minor over G or you could just do a quick G to F, two, three, four. So again, just uh, the bridge is just F, two bars, A minor, two bars, but on beat four of the second bar, you can do uh, A minor over G or something like that, or just hit the G to F, or this little F for two bars. Then all it is is a form thing, so just pay attention because you're going to do the reintro, the chorus. Uh, the intro, everything, including the walk down, so including the... Including that part. And then the only thing is that you're just gonna end on F, so just pay attention to the form. So yeah, there you go. Couple things, there's plenty of tricky, tricky things. I couldn't, I couldn't get it out, I got stuck. Stuck right here. So plenty of tricky things that's gonna keep you busy. Now remember, Monica, you can do the simplified version. I know you don't want to, but you can if you need to. Um, and this by far is the hardest line. I know it's gonna be a pain for you, but it just feels so good when you get it. That's how I felt, at least. So please work on that, work on that really slow. Put it in your slow downer program because that's what's gonna help. And the great thing is, is with the video that you told me to transcribe off of, uh, which will be in the link below, is that you can see exactly what she's doing. It's a straight shot on her hand. So you can see, oh yeah, that's the part. Or, oh, she just went back to the, the F add nine. Or, oh, I can see her using her thumb here. So that is really, really nice. If you can put it in slow downer and then also see exactly what she's playing, you'll be totally fine. That's it. Uh, done. I don't know why I had to grunt. It just felt like the right thing to do.